Hi guys, welcome back to MJ Performance. Uh, Timmy Tastic Two here. Um, so just a quick update. We were just um, doing the dry shafts on this uh, Focus ST225, and well, we were just having a look at the rest of the vehicle and look what's happened here. I mean, we can just take it up. Yeah, it'll be able to see it. Take it closer, here. So. Uh, so this is the kind of people we get, isn't it? Yeah, right, guys. So this is the sort of thing that we come across when this is a new customer. Okay, so he's coming to us, as we uh, mentioned before in a uh, previous video, with a vibration coming from the drivetrain, which is it's always dry shafts. So we've been through and checked the the rest of the vehicle. It's pretty box standard. This one, it's got um, H and R suspension on it, it has, uh, springs, which is really cool. That's what's fitted to Steve there, right opposite. So we recommend that. It's got a um, mount tune rear motor mount fitted very very similar to the the Revo one that we do obviously we're going to recommend fitting the Revo not the mount tune because we're Revo dealers um what else we got here timmy uh, the rest of it's pretty standard which is good because if it's a completely stock car that's brilliant because you've got a brilliant base to work on then for for his mods so we've done the as timmy says we carried it a dry shaft but on inspection um take a look at this now i've not seen anything like this for quite a while i mean it brings me back to the the old tire fitting days and you know um fast fit days and all this sort of stuff now you can clearly see they've had a yeah. go at adjusting the tracking on there now this customer we're not going to mention who it is because that's not we don't do that that's not what we're that's not what the video is about okay it's just to show you um and make you aware of what sort of um job that other garages or establishments would do and think that that is completely acceptable no quality control no check-in no nothing um, you probably have some young kid on this. No disrespect to the younger generation, but some some young young buck, or it could be <laughs> could be a, a mature, um, you know, fair. Who knows? But anyway, what a hash up! So what they've done is they've tried to adjust the track in. That is absolutely solid. All right, so it's okay to warm these lock nuts up. Okay, it's okay to do that to to, to get them to to break away and then you know wire brush, lube it all up, make sure that it's winding in and out. But first and foremost, what you want to do is take that clip off and break the seal so that that inner rack end spins inside that rack brake, okay? If not, that's what's going to happen. So whoever it is, is, well, that you can see how much, that they've heated that up so much, look, that it's almost melting. Yeah, it was close. All right? that so that's, that, that, that's had it anyway. All right, now, so if, that, if this car came into me and I was going to be, I assessed that, Yes, I would, I would think, okay, well, worry about that off. We'll, we'll heat that up. We'll see if it uh, moves. If it didn't move, I wouldn't be going any further with it. Okay, you don't want to be putting too much heat on there because the heat transfers down through there and then next minute, you're boiling up all the grease in the, uh, on the ball joint boot or the boot starts melting. Okay, and the same where it goes that way. So he's clearly, um, I mean, look at the heat transfer. He's yeah, actually had that. So not only, all right, you can always tell by evidence here. So not only is this nut, Right, the problem where he can't undo it. But he's also, that thread is probably in there like that. That's not obviously not moving inside there either, okay? So he's then heated up the track rod end to try and get that to move. Yeah, which is, he's probably glowing. spent, he's probably, nice. you know, he's had that glowing. He's probably spent, God, blimey, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour trying to, trying to get that to move. And plus, what he doesn't realise is, as he's getting that hot and he's trying to turn this, okay, that's probably bending inside there and it's probably not even straight anyway. So it's lo it's lost its you know, um, you know it's lost its angle in it. So he's got then he's then he's got some grips or steel suns or whatever he's put on there, and he's twisting that, trying to trying to adjust the alignment, and twisting all the boot around. As you can see, absolutely nuts. So that boot now no good. Okay, finished. So he's now <laughs> he's moved over to the other side. So he's not he's not happy that he's done one side. He thought I'll have a crack at the other side as well. So. There's no evidence of any heat on there, all right? So he must have cracked that one off. And look at that, look at the rust on there. That's never gonna move, right? So then he's, he's obviously got it to move, but he's then, you know, this has all come off, look. Look, it's all sliding down to the retaining clip. And even though he's got the clip off, all he had to do was try and break the seal there and get that to move, spin inside there. Bit of lube, and then the brack boot would stay as it is. Oh, no, the, through, well, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's, I've never, it's been a while since I've seen anything like this, guys, and, and it, it is quite shocking when you get someone like that, you know, a car in its, <laughs> it's had the tracking done, and they've, they've seen it fit that, uh, to carry out that, 
that job and think that it's okay. And let it out the door. And let it out the door. There's, but the, the thing is, Tim, his manager, supervisor, whatever you're going to call it, probably doesn't even know that that's happened. He's probably just gone in there, yeah, all done, yeah, all done, mate, yeah, bill's all done. Sends a customer at the door. Now, the customer is not going to know that. He's not going to put it up on the ramp uh, and inspect it afterwards to see what sort of job's been done. He's not going to do it. Oh, drive's okay, yeah, that's lovely. Okay, he's had his print out and all that sort of stuff. If that's a, if, if whoever's done it gives a print out, okay? Um, and he's none the wiser. The, only, the, the reason he's found this out is because he's come into us to, for the dry side problem. We've put it up on the ramp. We always do a fun inspection and, and give our honest opinion about what we think. Oh, yeah, that's good. Or, yeah, you could do with doing that. And, um, you know, be honest with people. And when you see something like that, I mean, he's, he's horrified. I've made the customer aware of it. We photographed it. He is horrified. Okay, so, I mean, it's, it's his pride and joy. Okay, so, um, you know, he's yet to see it in the flesh yet, but obviously he'll be retaining these parts and then he can do what he wishes uh, from there on. But not good, guys, whatsoever. So what we're going to do on this now, so we're not going to mess around even in attempting that. We wouldn't do that in the first place anyway. I'll take a look at that and say you need inner rack ends, track run ends, do it properly, uh, lube it all up and then adjust it properly. Now, I don't understand why they had a go at doing that. They probably charged them a fortune and now it's going to cost the customer um, money out of his own pocket for us to put it right and do the job correctly as it should have been done in the first place. So I don't know who it was. I can't comment on that. I'm not here to uh, slag another garage off. I'm not interested in that. We're only interested in what we're doing and uh, you know moving forward. So, um, But you have to... I thought I had to make a video on this, guys, because that's really really shocking and then unfortunately so, that some garages if this went to another garage they might see it and just ignore it they yeah. might this garage, they might not just that you know, okay so. so say this car was due for we're an MLT testing station right so say it was due for an MLT came into us and we've pointed that out to him and he's just paid to have that done immediately that's it that's failed straight away yeah. <laughs> so, so you know that makes it even worse you know so but luckily he's brought it in because of another problem or else he wouldn't have found that out he would have just been driving around like that and you know he wouldn't have he wouldn't have been none the wiser so yeah that's all it is guys so uh final thoughts from you tim just on the job that you can see that's been carried out not our job but the job that you can see that's been carried out on the uh the, the attempted tracking adjustment well i mean i know i'm young myself but i'm well experienced and that's just disappointing to see even for, for some of my age, very, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I've been taught, taught by you very that's well, it. but that's yeah. not the way to do this. It. No, it's not. It's embarrassing. I mean, as well. here, so. guys, just a, a little. Now we everything is. We have a little system here. With uh, stuff is marked. Everything, every item's marked after it's been uh, tightened. Then, if it's marked, then my guys know. If it's not marked, as far as I'm concerned, it's not. It's not tight. It's not torqued up. Whatever the case may be, so everything's marked, and they've got their own. You know, each, each of the guys here, yourself and, and um, Al, even myself, we've got our own colour paint, paint pens, so we know who's done the job and who's done what, because I'm not going to nick your pen. Well, I might do. And then, <laughs> then give me the yeah, pen. That's right. But, you know, we've all got our, you know, joking aside, we've all got our colour uh, pen, so if Tim does a job, you know, and he's marked it, I know that that's his colour pen, and unless I'm he's the one that carried it, the job out. You're so. the one who's carried the job out. So you're not going to mark, unless you're stupid, you're not going to mark something unless it's tight, okay, and you're happy with it. And that, then we know it goes out the door, bang on. Okay, as you can see, look, two seconds right, you can see everything that we've done the dry shafts, look. So everything that's to do with um, any, any example, tor look. tortoises, look. Example, everything's there it is, um, tight and unmarked, okay. Bottom ball joints, everything. It's, you know, obviously in wheel nuts, you can't go, people don't want to put paint on their wheel nuts. That's, you know, that's, um, that's the one you can't do. But you just, uh, we always have one of us there just to double check. Yeah, seen you do that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I mean, it's, it's peace of mind, isn't it? So, uh, but then, yeah, that's it, guys. Really, um, uh, what color is house? Yeah, pink, is, isn't it? No, ours is red. Is it red? Is it? Yeah, I've got the pink one, mate. You got the pink one. I have to have the. But then let's be there. honest. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, a man's color. Yeah. A woman's color. Fantastic, isn't it? So. You, you can't know. miss my color. That's right. Straight in your face. Yeah. yeah. That's it, mate. Well, right, guys, just uh, staying on with the ST225 with the dry shafts. Um, I was just unpacking them, but these are genuine Ford uh, dry shafts. 
Um, that's the best best thing to use, isn't it, Mark? What's your out there, mate, on the uh, tyre? Yeah, well, health and safety, yeah? Health and safety. That's right, mate, yeah. So, um, yeah, as Timmy just mentioned, we'll only ever fit genuine dry shafts. You know, there is alternatives out there, aftermarket, but believe me, we've tried it, they don't work. It's actually, we put a set of aftermarket dry shafts on one of these to try it, because uh, we were being told, oh yeah, they're, they're, it'll work, it's the same. It was actually worse than what it was when it came in. So, gotta fit genuine dry shafts. They're not cheap, I mean, they're like 300 quid a piece, but that's it, you get what you pay for. You know, so, um, don't go going, just a word of advice, guys, don't go down, there, down the route of aftermarket, they don't work, all right? I don't care what anybody says. So, that's it, really. Because just to uh, show you the uh, the shafts on the floor, and then we'll um, we'll do a, a follow up video with them uh, with them fitted without finishing the job off. So, anything else to add there, young Timmy, or Timmy Tastic too? Not for a minute, no. Not for a minute. No, we've actually got back in sixty update. seconds, yeah. That's right. Gone in sixty seconds, yeah. Hours <laughs> later. <laughs> Look at this game, look. Two hours later. <laughs> That's you, mate. That's you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. So yeah. So that's all of us, guys. So um, you know, we'll uh, just to make you aware of that, and uh, we'll catch up very soon. So um, usual thing, Timmy. Remember to like, like, subscribe, comment down below, hit that bell button, and also the finance. Yeah, that's it. We just to make you aware, guys. We offer finance now, um, in conjunction with finance for you. Um, you know, ideal ideal finance. So we'll um. Yeah, we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. I turn off the lights. I got off the wires. When I close my eyes, disconnected.